Jordan, James from The Fit RV, and it's been like a month, but I'm finally done putting up the siding on the inside of my shop walls. Literally, it took like a month, and I feel like I've been forever putting concrete anchors in and nailing up siding, but it's done. Let me kind of take you around, show you how it went, and show you what I'm gonna do next. So here's this little bit of wall that I had started on in the last video, and that's done. Well, then I just kind of carried it around, and then I got over to this closet that I had framed out. Now, the closet, I just wrapped it around, and there will be some trim right here on this side. There'll be some trim, so that looks better. And then inside the closet, I don't know if you can see this, I actually put some, uh, some drywall, and there's rock wool insulation inside there because this is where the loud equipment is going to go, like the air compressor, dust collector. So I wanted it to be quiet. So did that. Um, coming over here, uh, I had to bring some of the electrical work forward so that it sits on top of the wall because I'm going to run more outlets just with conduit. And then this, I, it felt like it was taking forever to get this wall done because it's like 36 feet long or something ridiculous. But I did down to this end and here we have more electrical work that I brought forward. I made new buttons for the garage doors. Go back down. Okay. Anyway, and I stopped there. I did not do this little bit in between the garages because I do want new garage doors and I don't know if they're going to need access to that. Plus there's a pipe here. I don't know what to do with that. Anyway, and then finished up over there for the last bit of wall. So, you know, good news. I no longer feel like I'm standing in a concrete bunker. Bad news. I feel like I'm standing in a pine coffin. <laughs> so I've been kind of experimenting with different treatments, stains, paints, whatever to put on the wall and I've tried a bunch of stuff now these are all since I'm in an enclosed space these are not, none of them are oil based because I didn't want to deal with the fumes um, so they all clean up with water that's the good news and I've tried everything from just like a baking soda wash I tried this stuff this Varthane weathered wood accelerator or as I like to call it purpleizer yeah that kind of turned the board sort of purple got a couple stains and I think I finally settled on what we're gonna do and it's gonna be not I wonder if you can see that not that stain not that stain but that one kind of in the middle which is actually just the two stains poured together in a bucket um, so we're gonna do that so I think the next thing I've got to do is I've got to finally take this monstrosity off the wall because uh, you know I got to put that last board on and so next, it's just kind of move everything away from the walls and get ready to uh, apply some stain. Let's get to it. All right, ta-da, you ready for the big reveal? And there we go. So I have uh, now stained all the, uh, all the wood that was in here and I did kind of this, uh, you know, kind of washed out old looking thing. I even painted the wall. It was kind of a massive cleanup I had to do on that wall. It had a whole bunch of holes and whatever. And ultimately I wasn't too creative. I just painted this wall the same color as the paint that's on the other side of the wall. Um, to kind of tie it together and it's a sheen I can keep clean so that's just paint but the big story is is this stuff um, and I applied this all by hand like myself with a well, I was right I'm right-handed with a brush because that's the look I wanted but I mean there's like you know 90 feet of wall or something in here so my arm got really really sore but I applied it all and I think it looks great so we were going around the uh, around the closet whatever so you can kind of see the stain. But more excited about this thing than I am about the stain. What I have got now, this is installed, is a mini split ductless heat pump. And so it's 40 degrees outside and I'm wearing short sleeves. Um, this thing is fantastic. It, uh, it might not work to keep you warm like in upper Minnesota or something, but for here in the desert Southwest, it works great. Cool thing about it, this is also an air conditioner, so in the summer, it'll be nice and cool in here. This is awesome, and it's no louder than this. Listen. 
That's, that's all the loud you got. Compare that to like my old propane fired heater hot dog thing in the, in the last shop. This thing is nearly silent. And the outside unit, I'll take it up and show you that. Now, I did not install this myself. I had an air conditioning company install it because, you know, I'm not licensed to work with Freon. Um, the outside unit is just as quiet. may even be a little quieter than that inside unit. So here, na 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 na. Here is the outside unit. And there's a little wind because it's blowing pretty good, but it's really darn quiet and it's small. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space. And so there you go. I now have climate control in my shop. The other cool thing about the climate control is I can, when I'm done, I'll be able to do like climate control experiments if I want to, like, you know, where you want to keep the temperature the same. That'll be cool. Anyway, so that's it for uh, fixing up the walls in the shop. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to finally retrieve all of my belongings from the giant shipping container that's outside. So the next time you see this space, it will have even more of my things in it than it does now. And uh, yeah, once I've done that, I'll have a really good idea of where I want cabinets, outlets, that sort of thing. So I'm looking forward to that and that's gonna take up the rest of the weekend. So that's gonna do it for now. We'll see you later. Bye.